guys, in this video, as you can see, I have this mnemonic device that will help you out figure out how to convert metric units. In this lesson, we're only going to learn how to convert metric units of length. That's why you have King, Henry, die by drinking chocolate milk. As you remember, the base will be meter, okay? That, that will be our base. I'm gonna write it down here. Meter. So remember that the K is for kilo, the H is for hecto, the D is for deca, and these three are the largest units. That's why they are capitalized. Then by will be your base, which is the meter, and then these three are the smallest units. That's why they are in lowercase. This lower D means decimeter. This lower C means centimeter. And this lower M means millimeter. So let's get started. So for this lesson, I would like you to write down on a paper 800 kilometers. And I would like you to convert that into meter, okay? So the first thing that you need to do is to find out the direction of the conversion. If you're moving to the right or if you're moving to the left. Let's try to check that. If I am moving from kilometer, which is here, kilometer, and I'm meeting, I'm moving for meter, I need to shift to the right, okay? I'm gonna move to the right, okay? So I have one, two, and three spaces. So that's what you're going to do with your decimal point. Don't forget that at the end of each whole number, you have an invisible decimal point, okay? So as you saw, you need to shift your decimal point to the right, one, two, and three spaces. One, two, and three spaces. Now you're going to add the zeros in these spaces that you just made, okay? So your answer should be 800,000 meter. Okie dokie. So now I am going to present another example so you can do it by yourself. Make sure that you pause your video and then you do it. So this is the other example that I would like you to try. If you have 4,000 and 300 centimeters, I would like you to convert that into meter. So please go ahead, pause this video and try this exercise. Okay, now I hope that you try it at home. Let's see. If they're asking me to move from centimeters, which is here, Okay, to meter, which is my base. I'm gonna write it down here again. Let's try to move. One and two spaces. As you saw, we are moving to the left. So you're gonna put, write down your number or you can do it in here. You just place the invisible decimal point at the end of your whole number and you shift two spaces to the left, one and two spaces. So your new number is 43. You can leave it like this or you can just put 43.00 meter and it will be the same, okay? So how about we do another exercise? All right, so this is the other exercise. I would like you to convert 90 meters, okay, into millimeters. 
meter. Please remember that millimeter is the lower M. This one stands for millimeter, okay? Remember that the base for length is meter. So please pause this video and try this other exercise. All right, guys, so now that you tried this one, let's double check your answers. So they're telling me to move from meter to millimeter. So I am here, meter, and then I move to the right. Very good, I'm, I'm moving to the right. One space, two spaces, three spaces. So I am going to do exactly the same with my decimal point. Remember, at the end of each whole number, you have an invisible decimal point. As you saw, I shift my decimal point three spaces to the right. I am gonna do exactly the same. One, two, three. So here you add one, two, and three zeros. One, two, three, comma. So your answer should be 90,000 millimeters, okay? So this was it for today. I hope that you understand how to convert metric units of length. I would also like to tell you that this mnemonic device will help you to convert any any unit from the metric system. Bye-bye.